Back with another edition of SVG's Sports Tech On Demand video interview series. Brandon Costa from SVG. Have the pleasure now to be joined by Maria Kalkanis. She is the CEO of M2A Media. Marina, it's wonderful to see you. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk a little bit about delivery over the public cloud. It's fantastic to talk to you today. Great. Thank you very much, Brandon. Great to be here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, our friends, our sister organization, rather, SVG Europe, knows you and your company very well. Uh, but for our audience over here in the in the States, tell us a little bit about M2A Media. What is it that you guys specialize in and how can it benefit the sports video production industry? Great. Thank you. So M2A Media is a, a fairly new business. We mm -hmm. launched in 2016 and um, we've built up an industry leading tool set for delivering live video over public cloud. So our company combines um, uh, kind of leading edge software engineering, expertise in broadcast technology, and we offer bulletproof 24 seven operational support. So this combination puts us at the forefront of innovation in cloud-based video delivery. Our, our products are um, used by top tier global broadcasters and sports right owners um, to deliver their live video to their audience. So what we specialize in is live video. And some of our customers include DAZN, BBC, ITV, which is one of the independent broadcasters here in, here in the UK, commercial broadcaster, Spark Sport, and Channel 4, another UK broadcaster. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is, uh, what we do really is we specialize in making it easy to migrate live video workflows to public cloud and particularly to AWS public cloud. Public cloud. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really curious to get your take on this because uh, delivery over the public internet, delivery over the public cloud, uh, all things that we've been talking about in the industry for many years and have kind of been building towards, but like so many things in live sports and media production and distribution, so many things have been accelerated by the current environment in the world that we're living in over the past 12 to 13 months. Uh, how have you seen um, th this segment of the industry that you guys focus so hard on it evolve, change, anything surprise you along the way? How, uh, how has acceptance changed? What's new in terms of how the industry feels about this kind of way of delivering video, live video, as you say? Yeah, I, I think what's interesting is that, especially over the last year, has just been a, a kind of an enormous step change. I think everyone now is really thinking about the benefits that public cloud has have to offer. And, 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 and the, the two things that public cloud offer that you just will not find elsewhere is scale and flexibility. And, and what that means is that uh, public cloud is con continuously evolving. So nothing is fixed, nothing is, is as it was built. It's always being enhanced as, as, you know, as we speak, it's changing. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a meeting place for everyone to bring software to, which means that you don't only have the uh, advantage of the software delivered by the public cloud owner, but you have the advantage of all the, the other people who are bringing their software into the public cloud and deploying there. And so it becomes also this meeting place uh, of software technologies. And so it, it, that, that, kind of, um, that kind of flexibility you just will not find elsewhere. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. The second thing is, um, is scale. And again, uh, you know, you're just public cloud is just computing on a whole nother scale from from anything else. And so um, particularly so we sort of specialize in, in the high end uh, live workflows. So it's, it's we, we specialize in customers who um, don't really have a fixed kind of uh, all in one, you know, a live video in a suitcase type problem set. What they mm -hmm. have is live video is, is the lifeblood of their organization and they want to do as much with live video as possible. They want to do ad insertion. They want to make it globally available. They want the highest quality. They want to be able to localize it. You know, they want to do, they want to be able to deliver it to every single possible device, uh, subscription models, ad supported models. They want to cover the gamut. And when you're doing things like that, you really want to be able to take advantage of, of all the things that you can do in a public cloud workflow, if you like. Take advantage of the fact that you've got machine learning type possibilities there. You've got, you know, image processing possibilities there. You've got, you can do all kinds of things with your live video, um, not just get it from A to, A to B if you like, right, right. to be to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really opens up a lot of doors. I know uh, to drill down into specifics, one of your newest solutions in terms of routing live video over the public cloud is M2A Connect. So what does that 
bring to the forefront that uh, that's maybe new for you guys? Right. So when we started, I'll just backtrack a little bit because when mm-hmm. we started, we started in OTT live products, and that's where we where we came into the market in 2016. And uh, where, whilst we were very successful, we realized that our customers, whilst they love using cloud for the kind of back end, or the, I don't know, the, the, the consumer end of, the, of their workflows, they wanted something that allowed them to get content uh, into their workflows using public cloud. And that's where Connect comes in. So it, it allows the acquisition of content into an OTT workflow over public cloud. It also allows, um, we have some of our users of M2A Connect will be sports federations. And it allows them to get their content to their affiliates. So it's it, it's really this transport of, of, the, of the mezzanine quality video, not the video that you want to deliver to the consumer, but the video that you want to exchange between two, two entities uh, that they are involved in, in live workflows, if you like, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, without a doubt. Like they say these days, uh, content's king, distribution's queen, right? So you guys are doing so much great work to get uh, more sports content out there to the rights holders that need it. And we thank you so much for the work that you and your company are doing to help empower live sports content creators and distributors, and also for taking a few minutes to share your expertise with us today. Marina, it's been wonderful to catch up with you. Hope you're well. Great. Thank you very much. All right. Nice to talk. Yeah, thank you so much. She is Marina Kalkanis. She is the CEO of M2A Media. You can check them out, learn more about them, and see more of the SVG Sports Tech On Demand series. Just head on over to sportsvideo.org for all of that.